So first of all, what we need to do is I'm going to use my element selection tool here to select all the points. So all the points now are selected. You can see at the bottom, it says here there's 426 points selected. So again, from the rail ribbon, I'm going to select sort horizontal points. And you'll notice on the end of your cursor, it says data point to add 402 selected points. Now we have to uh, put some values in the sort horizontal points box. So the minimum distance that we want between the points is one meter. The maximum distance between the points is 50 meters. Now, if that distance is exceeded, the horizontal sorted line will stop at that point. So you have to make sure that the maximum distance between the points is set correctly here. Uh, we're going to set a maximum deviation. This is the deviation angle between the associated points. We're going to set that as two. The feature definition we're going to set to job temp. And the name we're going to give to this sorted line, we're going to call it the uh, existing left rail. So data point to accept the points. So what we have to do in this particular section is we have to identify the first point in our list of rails. And we also have to identify the second point in our list of rails. When you do that, it establishes both the starting point and the, the direction in which the, the points are moving. Locate the start point. So we're going to window in and pick the start point, which is that first point down here. Second point, don't forget this determines the direction in which the points are moving. Accept the minimum distance tolerance. Accept the maximum distance tolerance. Accept the maximum deviation. And let the processing of the points begin. So now if I use my element selection tool to cancel the command out and hit fit view, there is my sorted line running all the way down the left rail. I just want to look at the properties of that sorted line. So again, I'm just going to uh, window in at any area on the line. So you can see the sorted line here. And again, I'm just going to select it. And from the context sensitive toolbar, I'm going to go here to the properties of the line. So you can see here's the point. Feature name. Feature definition. And here's your stroking values. The stroking values are the stroking values when it goes round a curve. 